All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And now you can see that we have an empty scene, and we're ready to go ahead and generate our virus structure that we're going to be using um, for our illustration purposes here. So let's go ahead and open up our molecular Maya. And what we need here um, to get our virus structure is a PDB file. And you're probably saying, well, what's a PDB file? A PDB file is your protein database file and that contains your entire virus structure and I will say that some viruses definitely are more complex than others um, from what I've seen in the PDB file formats um, it can get high in terms of the actual geometry and also the atom structure that it generates so let's go ahead and um, find out how we can actually download one of these to grab a virus structure that you need all you're going to have to do is just go to Google and type in PDB file and you will get the protein data, data bank and if we go ahead and click on this you're going to see that this looks really medical um, I'm definitely not a doctor here okay so um, what I know is that if you go ahead and, um, and have used in the past, if you go ahead and actually type in a virus here, so say something like the African simian virus or tobacco mosaic virus, um, if you type that in, you'll get a PDB file. So let's go with tobacco mosaic. Okay. And you're going to see that it's going to come up here. Um, you can either find them by a name or PDB, um, PDB file format. But since I've typed in a name here, you can see that we get the molecule of the month, the tobacco mosaic virus. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what we need is the actual PDB file format so that we can import this into Maya. Okay, so you get a PDF version of it, an EPUB version. But this is the PDB file that we'll need. So if you go ahead and click on this, and if this loads you'll just get a basically download um, for it and you can save it as the PDB file so if this is going to load it doesn't look like it's going to load so let's just jump back here one um, let's go the simian and we'll just type that in here okay and we'll just see if we can't read one here go ahead and just click on this one uh, that's a PD, uh, PDF file and what we need is the actual PDB file okay so ch -ch 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 -ch. I've actually downloaded one for us um, but you can get any file here if you want it um, even say something like cancer you can go ahead and just download it um, and just click on one of these you'll see that you actually have a um, complex structure here or even something very general in terms of just virus and you're going to see where you're going to get a bunch of different um, structural types of these viruses so if you want to just click on one uh, hit the download files just make sure you download the PDB file in the text format we don't want the GZ format we want the actual text this way we can take this into Maya okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and move that off screen here but I've already gone ahead and done that so what we can do is just simply click here and I'll include the PDB file that we're gonna be using here inside of your scene folder of your project folder okay so we'll just simply import this here and it'll just take a little bit of time to go ahead and import and that depends on the complexity of the actual virus structure or the molecule structure and you can see where this is yeah pretty complex so you can see here that it's being represented in atoms and if we come over here to our main tab click on our atoms you can display them for the for all the chains or one specific chain Okay, so I, I don't actually want the atoms because the renderer that we're going to be using, we need geometry. We need physical geometry to go ahead and render this. And we're not going to be able to render atoms, so we're just simply going to turn this off. I'll come down here to meshing. I'll turn the meshing on for all the chains or, you know, one specific chain here. So let's just go ahead and hit mesh viz there. 
and we're going to see what will happen. It'll brings our, it brings our geometry into the scene. And you can see how low this is in terms of the actual geometric structure. But let's say that you have a video card that can handle this. And I will say that if you put it on high, it is going to get complex, especially whenever you build the rest of the protein structure or the virus structure. So what you want to go ahead and do before you do that is make sure that you download the biological unit file for this structure and there'll be a button here to go ahead and download it and I've already gone ahead and done that um, and depending on what virus it is or what protein structure it is it can take at least a little bit of time to go ahead and download it so let's just go ahead and turn on medium for our geometric structure here and we'll just click the medium button and you're gonna see where this is gonna take at least a little bit of time to go ahead and update Okay, so you can see really where the geometry changes here. Okay, but let's say that we want to go ahead and see the rest of the geometry for this protein. So we'll just come down here to the biological unit and we want to build the description here from a simple transform and we just want the rest of the meshes. We don't want the rest of the atoms, the rest of the bonds, the rest of the backbones. We just want the meshes. So we'll go ahead and check that and there you can see where the rest of the geometry comes in let me go ahead and turn off wireframe because you can see where this is like really complex so go ahead and turn that off and you can see where this really gets a little bit um, hairy so if we wanted to I'm gonna go ahead and maybe turn it down to the low res geometry but like I said this high res geometry is it's complex I mean I have a Quadro FX 4000 and even on that it still runs a little bit slow so uh, low is probably going to be your best bet for rendering this out because if you put it on high and try to render it it may take a while depending on um, how complex the actual structure is so with our structure made what we can go ahead and do now is take a look at our outliner here and you can see where this is um, fairly clean we don't have to export or anything to actually get the geometry in here. I know this is going to render because this is actual physical geometry. So if I go ahead and open up my render view here and turn on the actual renderer that we're going to be using here and just run this out. I just want to make sure that this is actually going to going to render out and I can see that it is. So there's our um, basic virus structure here. So I'm going to go ahead and call it an end for this lesson because that has shown you how to go ahead and build the, the virus structure for um, what we're going to be using for our illustration. Uh, in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and begin the process of doing all the shading work for this. Now I also want to point out that we're only going to be rendering one of these because if we tried to render you know, 100 of, the, 100 of these say on that medium geometry or on that high geometry it probably just isn't going to work so it's going to be easier for us to render one of these um, maybe even on the medium geometry with the shader work in here and then we'll just composite it in Photoshop later so uh, come on back and we will continue working by working on our shading networks so come on back